go on YouTube. Thanks for clicking on the Knock and Stock channel. And today, got a surprise for you. We're gonna go check out the new Quiet Cat. Let's bust this puppy open. Get it out. Let's see what she can do. Ready? There you have it. So I'm I'm not gonna get into like the. Uh, well. So I'm not gonna get into the whole unboxing assembly thing. You know, uh, Quiet Cat did a really good job um, doing those kind of videos for you. If you decide to go with the Quiet Cat, they have a great. Uh, website and they get they get all, they do all the maintenance videos and stuff for you. So it's really nice and easy um, Especially today's day and age where you know, we learn everything on YouTube. So you have there you have it. It's the 2000 2020 Apex bike from quiet cat. This is the 7.5 7.5 apex um, So yeah, uh, so I put a little bit more foam on my seat and uh, add a little tool bag, um, just cause. Um, I threw a rack on it. Um, I haven't tried it out yet. I'm hoping I can get my bow to fit in here. So let me tell you real quick why I have this bike. Um, so quick story. I was hunting deer. Uh, sorry, my my uh, garage is messy. I'm uh, cleaning up after all the summer fun. Uh, as you can see, Thor's right here, my boat. Uh, we just winterized him this morning. And um, yeah, right now I'm, I'm really just cleaning up. So yeah, sorry it's a mess, guys. So let me tell you a little bit about why I have this, this bike back here. So I was up hunting deer just on our, our, our general archery hunt here in Utah. Um, it was the first day I was there off of work. It was like day four. Um, I got a, uh, I got a, uh, I got a, I had a voicemail. And it was from East and Outdoors. Uh, a lot of you guys might uh, read their magazine. Um, a really great magazine. I really enjoy it. Uh, anyway, I won this bike. I won it. Uh, I didn't pay a dime for it. Uh, I was a subscriber to their Tag Hub uh, service. Uh, it's kind of a little, um, it's a little service. Uh, Easton's Tag Hub. You guys can go check it out. I really, I really like it. Um, it's it's for when we're trying to hunt out of state. If you want to hunt a different state, um, you you click the state you'd like to hunt. You select the species, uh, select your weapon, and select time of year. And it'll show you which unit you should do. You know, it it accounts except uh, success rates and things like that. Uh, it's really a, a nice tool. Uh, I re I recommend it. But anyway, I was a subscriber to this. And <laughs> hold, I, I I won an Apex bike. So, uh, but yeah, um, I only had it about a month. Um, I've had it in the dirt a little bit. Uh, I've already broke it once. Um, so, let me make sure you guys are on here. Uh, this little this little wire right here. This this little clamp. It's the only thing I don't like about this this little setup is this clamp right here it seems like it's kind of dinky for what it's supposed to do so if this goes loose this whole cable goes loose and this is how you shift yeah, your gears uh, up here and that actually came loose made it so I couldn't come out of any gears I was stuck in one gear so that was the only thing that went wrong and it was probably my fault I might have I never checked it when I took it out of the box I I assumed everything was ready to roll. I should have checked it. If I would have checked it, made sure that was snug, uh, it would have been just fine. So I took it to a buddy that's got a bike shop, and he fixed it for me. He had to put a new cable in, and then mess with my spring in here and my shifter. So other than that, sweet little bike. But let me show you around a little bit. So the tires, you know, they're big. Yeah, they're nice. Uh, you got to kind of so to get what you to get a nice ride out of it, you really have to um, play with your your PSI because the rear doesn't have that great suspension they are they have nicer models that do which if I was gonna spend the money I'd spend a little bit more and get something with some kind of suspension inside of here but uh, I mean for free you can't complain <laughs> you know what I mean so but nice shocks up front 
really really cushy ride here uh, not gonna lie um, there's I mean like I said like I'm not I'm gonna show you how it all works but I mean this is the power button turns on quiet cat uh, this is your power of how much assistance you're getting from the motor and you can go up to five and you know at five like I can hit the throttle and it'll take off on you it's, it's pretty sweet so really think that's cool um, but other than that I really like it on two or three and then I just ride it like a normal mountain bike with your gears back here and your shifter this is the shift to an easier gear into a harder gear back here um, so yeah uh, this is our percentage of battery I've only charged it one time and I've rode it I've reset this I probably put about you guys can see that uh, that's since I reset it and I probably put I don't know probably five miles on it before I reset it so you know I'm right around you know 13 miles so on this bike so far and I'm only at 52 percent so pretty cool uh, manual says I can get anywhere between 20 to 50 miles on a charge depending on how much I want to pedal and help it so very nice kickstand is really nice and firm uh, it feels really strong uh, it's not flimsy at all uh, the brake system is really nice um, you got rear brakes um, I feel like I feel so the one thing I don't I'm having a hard time getting used to is so that's as low as the seat goes and I'm 5'11 or 10 somewhere in there and I can barely touch with my toes with the seat all the way down however it's so strange because like my legs are too long that whenever I like pedal it uh, it feels like the seat needs to be higher for me to pedal but at the same time it needs to be lower so I could step off to shoot if I had to for some reason so I don't know uh, that's just probably something I gotta get used to um, but yeah um, so far I like it like I said I got it for free I mean, yeah you can't beat that guy so it's a nice you know it's it's kind of their cheaper model the apex wise it's the seven the seven point five uh, uh watt motor but I mean you can't be free it's a little dirty right now because I just had it at boat camp we were dinking around but it was broke then so I really didn't try any hills so that's what we're gonna do right now guys we're gonna go check out some hills I got the babies to bed and um we're gonna go for a ride and uh we'll see how she does um if you like the video so far stick around uh, I haven't said when I'm gonna do this bike yet, so hang out, guys, and we'll uh, get at it. Found this nice little hill. I think this is a good test right here. See how we do. All right, that's a hill. Wow, that does not look steep on the camera, but it does look steep, guys. Uh, anyway, right, let's set this up, and we will have a look. Oh, that looks pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna try third gear all the way down and we'll see if we can climb it. time I'm gonna I'm gonna go back a ways I'm gonna get a real run put it on five power see if we can climb it I mean, a little bit more about it. This is the throttle. So I push this. I'm not pedaling. It's pretty sweet. Uh, but anyway, 
I was trying everything. I couldn't. I mean, I got better and better, but I could not get up that hill. Uh, whew. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, <laughs> I'm not the best mountain biker. Like I haven't mic mountain biked since I was a kid. Let's just try this baby. Here we go. That's five power. Five power and just throttle. I'm not even touching my pedals. Going up this little climb. Doing 11, 11.7 miles an hour. I mean, that's not too bad. A little bouncy, but not too terrible. Oop! <laughs> a little bouncy, not too terrible. Uh, this is actually where me and Brennan go shoot our bows. Uh, you guys probably seen it in the last vi uh, couple videos last year. There we go. Uh, but this is a... I can't climb around with you guys, so... I'm gonna dink around a little bit and I will sh tell you guys what I think. But uh, so far, like, I'm having a, I don't know if it's me. I just don't know how to ride, probably. I've only been on this thing a little bit. Uh, but I'm having a hard time getting up steep stuff. And I think the manual said it'll climb like a, like a 20% incline or something. Anyway, but we're still learning. That's okay. Uh, I'm gonna go dink around. So I'm gonna put you guys in my pocket. I'll pull you out in a little bit. All right, guys, so I'm back in here a ways. Uh, I stopped when I got to this rolling boulders. I was like, man, <laughs> I ain't doing that. So what I've noticed is uh, it's more a mountain bike than it is a motorcycle. It just does not have the power and torque to get you up i mean steep hills i mean it does really well way better than like a regular mountain bike for climbing but you need to treat these more like a mountain bike than a dirt bike so um i've also noticed that when i'm climbing in these hills a little bit i drain power way faster <sighs> which does make sense because normally i just ride around town and i hardly use battery but yeah, it, it's still really cool. Like, it's fun. Don't get me wrong. It's really fun. You guys like my helmet? Uh, um, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's cool. Like, I like it. Uh, I probably would do better if I play with my PSI, uh, yeah, PSI. Yeah, tire PSI. Because, um, this has in the manual, like, you want it really really high because you can go from 8 to like 40 or 38 something like that and uh depending on like if you're on roads a lot you want it higher if you're in soft stuff you want it really low like around eight um they recommend like 30 in the front and like 25 in the back and i've i just put 20 in each tire and that's all i've been running and it's been fine but man i bet uh for like deer camp and stuff i'd probably put my back i'd probably put my front tire at 20 I back tire around 12, something like that. Just play with it a little bit. I bet I'd climb a little bit better because I get more more grip to the ground. But other than that, like it's it's cool, guys. Um, if you haven't ride, rode one of these electric assist bikes, um, I recommend it. You can do it. A lot of the expos will, will have them. A lot of companies will go to the expos. You can play with them. Um, are they really worth the money? I don't know. Uh, like I said, like this bike brand new is 4500 bucks. I got it for free, so I can't beat that. But it sure is fun. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it's fun. Um, maybe it depends on where you hunt. Like you guys back east that hunt those whitetails in those fields, this would be awesome for it. But for me, I, I hunt the mountains a lot. And it's, I mean, we got four-wheel drive for, you know, a reason up here. And that's a necessity here where I hunt. So I don't know. If this thing was... And like, it's kind of funny cause like for this to be like, cause it's electric assist, like you have to have, and your rear, your rear, your rear wheel is your power. You have to have your butt on the seat. Like you have to put weight down on that back tire. Like if you stand up and you put more weight towards the front, like when you're trying to climb up a hill cause you want to lean forward, right? 
you're you're not getting grip to the back tire and you're just gonna slip and that's what I've noticed that's happening to me up here so yeah I don't know uh, for free it's awesome I love it it's cool it's fun um, I think it'd be really nice for riding uh, getting into my tree stand early in the morning that way I don't have to start up my bike at 4 in the morning and scare everything off in a mile radius but so this is quiet quiet cat so it's that's that's the one thing i love about it i wasn't gonna take elk hunting today and it's probably tomorrow but i had to see what my honey do list looks like but uh because the spike hunt's going on here in utah uh so i don't know it's cool 4500 bucks cool probably not two thousand bucks cool oh yeah i think it'd be worth it um it is a lot of fun but but uh, real quick, I want to thank you guys for checking out the Apex bike from Quiet Cat with me. Um, I, I really like it. I mean, I, it's free, so I really like it. I still, so for you guys that are tuning in, you're not subscribers, I really, really hope you uh, consider subscribing. Hit that like button and share this video. Um, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do with the bike yet. Um, I could sell it, keep it. I might just give it away to one of my subscribers. So. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. yet. But uh, thanks, guys, for watching Knock and Stock. We'll see you next time.